Hey guys, it's Selena, and I just wanted to do my recent favorites, or I guess you could say um, October favorites, but it's a little bit later. It's kind of um, different things that I've tried and been loving lately, so I'm just going to get started. And a couple of these things I mentioned in a haul video previously, um, so I'm just going to show you some of the things that I loved. And I tried out these K Bella masks. Um, and I tried out the purifying one and the anti-aging one, and I love these. I actually love the anti-aging one even more, which I didn't expect. Um, it just feels really good. This one, the green one's kind of like a minty, um, it's got witch hazel and tea tree in it. It's getting stuff all over. I know tea tree is really good for your skin, so that's why I picked it up. And then this one has goji berry in it. And I actually, the way that I love using these is I love using the purifying one first and the goji berry one second. And it just kind of like feels like I purify my skin and then moisturize it after. So it's a really nice treat to use back to back. And I don't know if I mentioned, but I got those at Target. So yeah, and they, they have tons of different ones that you can just try for, I think it was like a dollar or two. So it's a really fun way to get to try out products and see if you like it. And then something that I have been loving, this is not a monthly favorite, this is a life favorite. <laughs> and I have been using this same exact bottle for over two years because you need the tiniest amount, but I honestly do use this every time I wash my hair. And it's the Oscar Blondie Pronto Instant Glossing Cream. And the only way I can describe this is good hair in a bottle. Like, when I don't use this, I can completely tell a difference, and my hair is so much better when I do use this. It just makes it silkier, less frizzy, and honestly just beautiful. And when I don't use this, I'm, I realize, oh, I really need this product. <laughs> it is about $20, so it's expensive. You can get it at Sephora. But when I actually do run out of this, I will be repurchasing because I'm addicted. And, okay, another product I have been loving, and you know, this happens to me with products, you don't realize how much you love a product until you use another one, and then you realize how much better that other one was, and that's the case with nail polish. I have been using the, this, my, right now my nails are chipped, but I have been using the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. Um, this one is in Kook a Mango and you use the color first and then you put the gel top coat on and this just lasts so much longer for me than other nail polishes that I think I'm just going to switch to these only for my um, nails on my hands. I'm going to use my other nail polishes for my toes because for some reason nail polish lasts on my toes okay but on my hands it's just like chips within days so if you have a problem with that I would try out these. You have to use the base and the top coat though you don't just buy it's like a set kind of thing where you have to use both and then I have two favorite lipsticks that I tried out and they are the Maybelline mattes and these are the only two that I have and I love both of them and one of them I'm wearing right now which is touch of spice and the other one is divine wine you've probably seen these a lot because a lot of people have been talking about them but they are beautiful And I'm not going to swatch them because so many people have showed these in videos, but Divine Wine is like a really pretty dark um, red wine color. And Touch of Spice, you can see I'm wearing it now, it's a natural um, color. But these are just beautiful, and if you want to try some mattes, I would try these. And then I tried the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller in Light Medium. And this was popular a while back, I remember people talking about it. It's got the roller ball that um, is really cooling on your eyes and it just has a light tint so it's really good for if you're in a rush and you just need like a quick touch up in the morning uh, or if you already have makeup on and you need to touch up and you don't want to put like a lot of concealer on and it definitely brightens your eyes. It feels really good so I enjoy using this. It's refreshing to use in the morning. And then another Garnier product is the Garnier Clean Purifying Foam Cleanser. It's for combination skin. It says deeply cleanse and removes makeup and comforts skin. Someone's at my 
And this product, okay, first of all, it has a really weird pump. Like, you don't actually push this to get product out. And it says squeeze bottle to foam, and what you actually do is just squeeze it here to get the product out, which is weird, and I thought it was broken when I first got it. But let me just tell you, the smell is amazing. I know it's I know it's a cleanser and that smell shouldn't be a deciding factor, but it is. Like, it just smells like pomegranate and grapefruit and it just, it works. It's a good cleanser. I, I like foaming cleansers. Um, it says it has antioxidants, grapefruit and pomegranate softens and balances the skin. So it's, it's not too harsh. I really like it. I just think it's a good everyday cleanser. I kind of picked this up at a whim at Walmart and ended up loving it. And then my, another thing I want to mention is a sample of Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. I got this a really long time ago and just recently I realized this is another staple for me. I know that like I'm, I'm young, I'm only 20, but, and I'm not, I don't really have um, wrinkles or anything yet. But I realized that I will be asking for this for Christmas because it is expensive. I think the smallest bottle is like $60, but it's completely worth it. When I use this, my skin just feels so nice in the morning, and it I feel like it makes my pores look good. It helps with any acne. Like, I, when I feel like my skin is really starting, I have blemishes, I will use this, and it just helps all of them. Like, it helps so much. And... Um, it's a synchronized recovery complex. I'm not really sure what is in this exactly. Um, maybe I should look into that. But if you need a serum, I would try this or just buy something from Estee Lauder and they'll give you a sample of this. And this sample has lasted me months and months and months and months. Like a really long time. I don't use it every day. It's kind of like a special occasion thing. But if I get the big bottle, I would use it every day because... I bet my skin would be beautiful if I used it every day. And this is a sh this product, um, I'm going to give a shout out to my mom because she got me this because I told her I wanted to feel folly even though I'm here in Florida. So she got me two different things and I love them both. They're from Bath and Body Works. Uh, <laughs> she got me the Honey Crisp Apple and Butter Rum Orchard Triple Moisture Body Cream. And it smells like like apple pie pretty much it's so good it just smells appley and nice and folly and it's really moisturizing i'm going to use some right now it's just really moisturizing i haven't really tried their triple moisture body cream actually um and it's just good it's not too heavy it's not as heavy as like the the um body shop body butters but it's a little bit thicker than a regular lotion. So this is really great. And then she also got me one of these wallflower things that you plug into the wall and it makes your room smell good. And uh, she got me the pumpkin cupcake scent. It makes my room smell like a bakery. <laughs> and every day it makes me want dessert when I walk in my room. So I don't know if that's a good thing, but either way it smells really good and it's actually nicer than lighting a candle because it just makes your room smell good all the time um, and I'm running out so I have to get more. I would say one of these probably lasts a month. Yeah, I, I would say one of these lasts a month. So it'll make your room smell good for a really long time. You don't have to light a candle. Like when you light a candle it'll only smell good for, I don't know, a couple hours but this is like a 24-7 smell good thing. So, and they have tons of scents. I think they're having a sale, actually. Okay, so another love. I tried the Batiste Dry T Shampoo. And I got the hint of Vibrant Red with this one because I um, have red hair. So, this is actually new. And I just, I love Batiste, but this is the only time I've tried their red one. And I actually would not recommend this just because you're spraying this product on your scalp and I actually did notice my scalp, like where my part was, I could see that I had a tint of red. So that's not really a good thing, but Batiste is. So I'll just be getting the regular Batiste next time, plus the other ones have better scents. So I would, <laughs> I would just suggest getting a scent that you like. I wouldn't really bother with the color ones. 
And then a product I've been using a lot is the Kat Von D Powder Foundation, and I have it in the color Light 46. It looks like this. It has another compartment for the little sponge. For the most part, I do use a brush. Um, but this, I got it for because I do get oily, but also because I thought it would be really quick to just throw on a powder if I'm in a rush, and it is, and this product is full coverage. Uh, well, maybe not full coverage, but it's it's pretty full coverage for a powder foundation. Um, I guess technically I would call it a medium coverage, but I like to layer it with other products that kind of, um, like my BB cream or whatever, and it's a good product to throw on or touch up with. So I would totally recommend this product. You can get more coverage from it if you use a sponge, um, but I've been using my e.l.f. brush and I love that brush. And then I got the Pond Evening Soothe Wet Cleansing Towelette. Um, I had a sample of Pond's cleansing towelettes and I realized how much I love them. They actually, I feel like it really gets your makeup off and my skin actually feels really nice in the morning when I use these. I'm not going to lie, I use them and I'm lazy. Like I use them on lazy nights and I don't wash my face or do anything. I just use this. I go to bed sometimes. Um, not often, but you get what I mean it's for lazy days. And it makes my skin feel really good in the morning, like better than any other cleansing towelette. Like almost as good as if I washed my face. And it smells really nice too. These evening soothe ones. They do smell kind of flowery, so if that would bother you, I would get the regular one. But I like the regular one too, I've tried that. Um, and they're cheap, I think they were like $5. And I'm almost done. My last thing is my hair dye that I used the last time. Um, I've done a couple reviews on semi-permanent. I tried Manic Panic. I tried Beyond the Zone. And now I've switched to permanent because the semi-permanent just was not working out. It looked good for like a week or two and that was it. So I tried the Color Brilliance Ion. It's, it says PPD Cream Permanent Hair Color. Um, in medium intense red blonde and this is what you get get Sally's you use it with a developer I used volume 10 um, yeah so that's the top of it richest reds and it says medium intense red blonde that's the color and this was this is my favorite color that I've had in a while you can still see um, it's a little bit less vibrant, but I would say I can get away with a month um, before I redo it. And that's pretty good for reds. I need to get some, I need to take better care of my red and like get a good shampoo for it. But, and it'll probably last longer. But I, I really do like this dye. I also got the um, like red amplifier to bump up the color even more. And I'm going to try that next time. I just wanted to try the color on its own this time. Um, but I would, I would recommend this. It really worked out good, and I love my color, and it looks so beautiful in sunlight. I wonder if I can open my blinds. So you can tell how vibrant it is now with the blinds open, but I didn't want to wash myself out. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a really beautiful color. And by the way, guys, sorry if I'm not looking right at the camera. I'm not wearing my contacts right now, <laughs> but hopefully the video is still good. So I'm not really sure where I'm looking, but I'm looking in the general direction of the camera. And another favorite that's not a regular favorite is my room. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I'll do a room tour sometime if you guys want to see it. But I just love um, washi tape, and I did frames, inspired by Pinterest, frames around my posters, and it looks really pretty. So if you're wondering about my background, that's basically what that is. And I got the posters from, I think it's just called allposters.com, and it was really cheap. So if you need some, if you need like a cheap way to decorate the walls, that's a good option. And I actually have high ceilings in this apartment, so it was perfect because you can get, I got like big posters. To fill the space because I don't like blank walls. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy my favorites. I had a lot of stuff that I really, really loved in this video. Um, 
I'm, you know, I'm just going to repeat the stuff that I, if I were to tell you right now, run out and buy, buy these things, because I've used a couple of these things for a really long time, and I know that they're good, and that is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair and the Oscar Blondie Instant Glossing Cream and Batiste, but a lot of people know about Batiste, so I'll just leave that out, but seriously try these two products. They're a little bit expensive. Christmas is coming up, so... If you need a good hair product and a good skincare product, try to get samples of them first, but I'm telling you, these are amazing. Okay, that's everything. Bye!